Hey guys, uh, Matt Paulson here. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how to establish trust with the people that are visiting your website. Uh, so when consumers are researching companies online uh, to do business with, you know, they're gonna have a naturally healthy level of skepticism just because of the sheer number of scams that exist online. Um, anybody with a little bit of money can make a professionally looking website. Uh, so you shouldn't ex expect consumers to trust you and your brand uh, just because your website looks nice. Uh, you know, the reality is that the average consumer just isn't going to know if your website was made by uh, you know, a solid company with years of history and a sterling reputation, or if it was just put together by a teenager in Eastern Europe that's looking to make a, a quick buck off a gullible American consumer. Um, you know, these days, the default perspective of a typical online user is that they shouldn't trust your brand because they don't know who you are and they don't know what your company's reputation is. Um, so you know, if you want uh, potential customers that visit your website to uh, trust you and, and do business with you, you really have to actively work to prove to them that you are a trustworthy company that's just safe to do business with. Um, you need to prove to them you know, there's a real company behind the website and uh, you just have to show them that you are going to deliver on what you promise and that other people like them that are already satisfied or that there are other people already like them that are already satisfied uh, customers of your company. So by demonstrating um, your company's trustworthiness and track record, consumers will be kind of less risk adverse and just more likely to do business with your company. So you know, how can you do this? How can you instill trust in potential customers? Uh, I'm gonna walk you through some of the things we do on the Market Beat website. Uh, so I'm gonna switch over in just a second to um, a screen capture thing or a screen uh, recording you'll see, and I'll be right back with that. Okay, and now we are back. Um, so this is the Market Beat website. Uh, same thing that everybody sees when um, you, know, you visit my, our website. And I just wanna show you some of the things that we do on Market Beat to kind of show people we are a trustworthy brand. Uh, the first thing should be kind of obvious, but here on the bottom, you'll see the um, our office address, you'll see a contact email address, and a phone number. Um, you should always have an address, a phone number, and an email address on your website, and that just gives people, um, you know, an address to look up. So you can type that address in in Google Maps and see, hey, that's a real office building that you know there might be a real office in. So. You know, that kind of shows you're in the United States or whatever country you're in, that you're a real company and have a physical address and a real phone number that people can call. Uh, the second thing I want to show off is the site seals. Um, there are a number of different companies that you can buy these seals from, but when you click on them, it will just kind of show that uh, this company has been vetted by a third party, um, safe site certified and privacy verified, or they're actually the same brand, but uh, different seals. Um, BBB, I will talk about that in a minute, but that's also another trust seal. Um, but having these are on are always a good thing uh, because it just kind of proves to people that uh, some third party has, has vetted you. Um, if we go, I'm going to click around really fast here, but if we go to our payment page, you see we highlight these very prominently. You know, this is kind of the last step that people have to take uh, before it become a they become a customer. So we always want to um, show those seals um, right at the last minute to say, yep, uh, you can trust this company. Uh, the next tip I want to show you guys is um, something we just did at MarketBeat, but it is called an EV SSL certificate. So your SSL certificate is what allows you to have a secure uh, connection to your web browsers, but there's kind of a more advanced version of an SSL certificate called an EV SSL, excuse me, an EV or extended verification SSL certificate. And when you have that, it will actually show your brand name up in the URL bar. So most people know that this little box thing is, uh, you know, that's your website. But in a browser, you know, the browser control is the, the URL bar. So, um, you know, if your brand name is up here versus just the standard uh, security seal, you know, that kind of says, that kind of maybe gives the hint, even if it's not true, that the browser company or somebody else has, has kind of checked you guys out. They are a little bit more expensive. They're a couple hundred dollars a year versus, you know, free for the regular SSL certificate, but if you're a six or seven figure company, you know, spending that little bit of extra money is just well worth it to sh show um, your audience that you've had that extra level of check, even if there may, may be some validity to it, to it or may not be. 
Um, uh, another thing that we like to do um, is to be accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Cost us about $500 a year. But you can go on there, you can say, yep, lots of people have reviewed MarketBeat. It's, uh, it's certified or accredited by the Better Business Bureau. We've been around for eight years, you know, kind of a, a trusted third party saying, yep, MarketBeat's a real company. Um, you know, yeah, we've had a couple complaints of people that tried to email us and didn't get a response because they probably emailed the wrong address. But, you know, uh, you know, I think these complaints where we even um, respond to people's complaints and answer them, um, you know, that ultimately shows that we're a responsive company and uh, get back to people. Um, the next thing you can do is post customer reviews. Um, so we do this on, I'm going to go back to our sales page. This is the sales page for Marketby Daily Premium. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of this, the whole long form sideways sales letter thing. But one of the things on our sales page are testimonials. Uh, these are things that actual customers, their full names have told us about our business. So we put those on our sales page to kind of reduce the amount of risk uh, that customers perceive when dealing with our brand. Uh, the sixth thing that we like to do is we like to put on logos of media outlets that have mentioned our brand. So, um, you know, all these different financial brands and news organizations have, have written, written about MarketBeat or said, you know, MarketBeat reported on this um, at some point or another. So if I go to Google and I just type in Barron's Magazine, sorry for the typing on my clacky keyboard, and I type in MarketBeat, be able to search that. And where is that at? I'm going to find it because I'm determined. All right, I'm going to do, hold on, barons.com market heat. And I even typed it wrong. Yeah, there we go. So like here's this article that mentions uh, MarketBeat, it mentions a couple other sites, but you know, it shows that we've been featured by Barron's Magazine, very reputable financial outlet. So then we're able to stick their logo on our website saying these sites ha have featured us at some point in the past. Even if it's just like, you know, the local TV station or local radio station or a local newspaper, put those logos on your website because they will instill trust. Another thing you can do, this is item number seven, is on your about page. Put a nice picture of you and kind of tell your story. You know, have your name. Hey, this is a letter from me, Matthew Paulson, the founder of MarketBeat. Um, you know, my picture kind of shows, you know, there are real people behind this company. Um, another thing you should do is, I guess this is item number eight, but have your company blog, leave it up to date. And honestly, I haven't done the best job of this because we just posted our first blog post since last August but kind of an easy way to tell if a company is not doing business anymore, even if their website is still up, is if they don't post anything to their blog or their social media channels. Uh, so I would post at least one thing a month on your social media channel or on your company blog or press room. Um, we're gonna try to do a better job of that moving forward, but always keep those up to date. Uh, number nine um, is to keep your, um, you know, I guess build a real social media following. Uh, so here on Twitter, we've got 6,000 followers. We haven't done a whole lot with our Twitter account. We just post content to it, kind of uh, um, using some programming. This thing's going nuts. Um, but then same thing for Facebook. You know, we have several thousand followers there. But, you know, if you have a Twitter account and a Facebook account that has you know, about 7,000 people that follow that. So if you have, a, you know, only like 20 Twitter followers or 20 Facebook followers, um, you know, people are going to, um, look at that and see, hey, maybe this is a, a business that only exists in theory and doesn't have any actual customers. Um, I, I think that's kind of it for what I can think of off the top of my head. But, you know, if you spend some time on a MarketBeat website um, and you really, you know, you really start to think, you know, what is MarketBeat doing to instill trust? You know, things like the EVSSL certificate, um, all these company logos, these trust seals, the address, my picture, um, you know, customer reviews, media mentions, uh, keeping your website up to date, all of these things will just subtly help people understand that MarketBeat is real business run by real people in the United States and it's a company that you can trust to get financial information from. Uh, so hopefully this is helpful to you on your website and I would uh, love to hear any other ideas 
about how you can instill trust in the people that are visiting your website. So if you have any ideas that I didn't mention, uh, feel free to comment on them uh, below this video, either on my blog or on the YouTube video for this channel. I'd love to hear your ideas. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.